Oh my god. Let's put this back. Yes. Alright. Oh, that. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. Oh my god. What can I say? I surprise myself sometimes, right? If there's one thing we all have in common, we all want to make music like Martin Sturzer. But what does it take to actually get there? Do you need to conjure up some mystical power from the universe and channel that into your music? Do you need a wall full of synthesizers running through a plethora of high quality effects? Well, as it turns out, the answer is pretty simple. And using some well-known software synthesizers and some basic techniques, we can start to capture that ethereal sound and inject it into your own tracks. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I make deep space ambient music like Martin so you can hopefully use these techniques in your own productions. So if you like this kind of video, make sure you smash that like button on the way in and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you want exclusive content, make sure to join my Patreon where this video was originally found. There, you'll find extra tutorials just like this one, exclusive live streams, more presets, one-on-one -on -one ambient coaching, and so much more. That being said, let's get into it. Deep Space Ambient Music Production Tutorial. Enjoy. What's up guys, Chris here from Signs of Life. Welcome back to the channel, and in today's video, we are gonna be making some deep space ambient. You know, I thought about it before I started this video. What makes good deep space ambient? Well, in my mind, it's this feeling like you're in an environment, right? And the question is, how do we create that with synthesis? How do we create these environments like you're in an airlock? You know, the, one of the ways you could do it would be like with white noise or like reverb and things like that. So we're gonna use some tools here to kind of create a deep space ambient track and hopefully uh, you guys can pick up a couple tricks along the way. All right, so uh, first things first, I'm gonna grab an instance of Vital here. This instance of Vital, I'm going to reset. There we go, we're gonna initialize the preset and I'm going to just lower the tempo to say 77 and we'll go ahead and pick a key here. I'm gonna pick say D minor, all right, that looks good. Now, one cool thing about Vital, if there's not enough cool things already, um, one cool thing about Vital is that you can have the ability to sort of use the LFOs in different ways. You can use them like envelopes, which is really cool. Some other synths that I tried, like Dune 3 or uh, Serum, they don't have these options on the envelope envelopes, but Vital does, so you can put it in envelope mode here, and we can put some delay on this envelope. That means that the envelope is gonna be delayed, it's also gonna be like a one shot. Like when I hit a key, this envelope is gonna trigger. Now, what I can also do is I can make kind of a cool shape here, and this will be our sort of level for the white noise. So what I'm gonna do is turn the white noise all the way down, and then move this LFO to um, trigger the white noise. Now what's gonna happen is if I hold down a key, if I turn down oscillator one, hold down a key, you see nothing's happening, right? But then the noise will trigger, okay? So that's because I put a two and a half second delay on it, right? I could also make this in stereo, so I can increase the stereo width, and now we're gonna get sort of a panned noise. Check it out. That could be really cool, right? You add some delay and some reverb on there and you're in business, all right? So we're gonna use that. And now let's um, sort of explore an idea of building a pad around this so we can kind of get a comprehensive view of what we're doing here. So let's go ahead and make a pad. I'm gonna grab a wave table. Let's see what this one looks like. That looks good. Uh, and then I'm gonna add some voices on here, um, lower down the detune amount, increase the volume and put a filter on here. Um, we're gonna just leave the white noise going straight into the effects. But what I'm gonna do is I'm also going to increase the attack here and lower the sustain, up the release, increase the decay, and there we go. So now what we're gonna do is create a filter envelope. I'm going to make this sort of the same as the um, amp envelope. So the amp envelope, if it's four and a half seconds, I wanna make my filter envelope close to that and then take the sustain all the way out and just decay. So it's just an AD envelope, right? And uh, yeah, that should be good to go. Let's go ahead and tie that to the filter, lower its influence, and that should be good. So now I wanna hit a key. We're gonna get some noise. Right? So you can hear that that wavetable is now 
it's triggering and the white noise is also triggering, but it's only when I press down keys, okay? But when you think about this and we're building a pad around this, how is that gonna sound after we've built an entire, you know, like symphony of sequences and all kinds of stuff? It's gonna sound really good. Um, and there could also be low moments where this pad sort of sits in the background, but you can still hear those bits of white noise, right? That's kind of cool. So um, this is sounding good to me. Let's lower the detune amount. Um, we can also uh, take the pressure and maybe increase the detune amount with pressure. That's always a favorite of mine, right? That's good. I'll also take the pressure and increase the filter amount with that. There we go. This is all sans effects, so we're going to add some effects soon. Um, let me go ahead and put this on sync, and we're going to put this on 4 over 1. And now let's tie this to the wavetable position. So we're going to move the wavetable. Okay. Sounded good to me already. All right. Let's add a compressor here, and we'll up the attack, lower the, the low amount, lower the mix. There we go. Ooh, add some vibrato here too. So let's go ahead and add, say, a um, one eighth, and we'll add that to the detune amount, just like this. And that'll be on a slight delay as well. So we'll go like that, maybe like one second. Sounded good. And then we will increase our delay and reverb. Let's see how this sounds. <laughs> All right, so that pressure was admittedly a little too much. Let me uh, lower that amount. There we go. Good, 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 good. Okay, so we're off to a good start here, right? Because we have this sort of envelope. I don't know if the stereo image needs to be that big, but it certainly does make a nice contrast, right? And depending on what you're playing, like you can get some really interesting sonic textures, especially on an opener, right? So let's go ahead and uh, we'll add one more oscillator, and this oscillator will be kind of our sort of like, I don't know, noisy, but slash, you know, interesting, maybe almost electronic. Yeah, I'm thinking like that. So let's go ahead and use the random to our best capability here. Let's go ahead and put some randomness in here. Um, we're gonna randomize, say the, um, ooh, random amplitudes, yeah. So we can do random amplitudes on this one, lower the amount, and then we can go like this, and maybe make that part of that, like this, and this. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> oh, that's that's genius. Okay, I love that. That sounds great. Okay, I'm gonna just go with that right off the bat. That was totally unscripted, by the way. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, let's save this. Jeez, I I got I gotta make a good habit about the save this presets. We'll call it um I don't know. Uh, ooh, how about this? Boom. All right, we'll do that. And uh, yeah, this is sounding good. Very nice. I just like the way that, that those little bits of random amplitude come in. Mm. That's very good, very good. Yes. What an opener. All right, great. So now let's go ahead and lay in some notes here. So let's go ahead and I like to take out my um, loop marker to 250 so I can get a better perspective here. Let's go ahead and add a, all right. Um, we'll change the color here to, I don't know, say blue. And we will put it in scale mode. Scale mode, there we go. Very good. Excellent, we'll take off the fixed grid. 
Remember, move up and down for the uh, velocity here. Uh-huh. Right? So now you can start the real composing. Like, this could be the intro. This could just kind of lead us into whatever comes next. So again, being really conscious about how you're composing, how many notes are happening once, especially because that white noise is on an envelope. So it's gonna trigger with each note press. So we could even like randomize that amount, if you know what I'm saying. Randomize the influence that it has. That's a good point, so let's try to do that. Um, let's go ahead and dive back into Vital. Now, this LFO one is controlling that, but what if the random amount was kind of giving it, was dependent on that? So it was dependent on the random, so to say. So like, right. So the random is now controlling, it's, it's auxiliary controlling how much that's going to influence that. I like that, all right? So it's not gonna be the same white noise blast every single time. It might be something much lower, which is cool, okay? So let's go ahead and add a couple more notes in here. Let's space these out. I really wanna um, give this a little bit more room to breathe here, that's good. We'll space this out, and then these two will come in like that. And then let's go ahead and take this note all the way out. And we'll add a couple more in here. Ooh, I like that chord. Yes. Very good, very good. Increase the velocity here. And add another low note. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Yep. Mm. And you can just compose on the fly here. Like, it doesn't have to be, like, super serious yet. Right? I like this. Off to a good start. All right? Let's go ahead and look at our patch one more time. Save it. It's just three oscillators, really. Two mains and one noise. And as always, be conscious of your levels, right? That's really important. So the fact that this is not that loud, it could be. We could even have that on a random. That sounded so gorgeous. Almost like a PVG wave. <laughs> I love it. All right, great. Now, what else do... The question is, what else do we hear here? Like, where are we going with this, right? Let's get a sequence going. Yeah? Ooh, some sort of subsequence. All right, all right. Like, this is enough for me to kind of get my my mind interested, right? I'm like, oh yeah, lead me down this road. I want to go down this path. And that's what I love about ambient music. That's what I love about ambient. It's like, there's so many things you could do. There's so many ways to go about it. That's what I love. All right, anyway, so let's open up Stepic and Serum. A deadly combo, I have to admit, all right? So let's go ahead and um, plug in a sequence in Stepic. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this natural minor. We'll make it eight steps. And uh, let's go ahead and just kind of put this in ratio mode as I like to do. And that's good. Um, and then we'll randomize the direction here and we'll increase the velocity, randomize direction, and then boom, like this, and there we go. And that's fully randomized as well. 
So we're good to go here. All right, so this is gonna make a patch that, you know, I mean, like you could do anything with this. Like this is really a blank canvas here. So go ahead and just take some time to thoughtfully design a pluck, all right? Um, go ahead, shift, alt, click that, boom, like this, and there you go. LFO, control that, like this, and yeah, that should be good. Okay, let's see how this sounds. All right, so let me just back up for those of you who are totally lost when I just did that. So what I did was I took the sustain out of the amp envelope, right? And I just made it a short attack and a one second decay, easy. And then I took that and I made another envelope, which was much shorter, and I put that and I tied that to the filter. The filter is at 24 dB low pass filter. So um, what also happened here was I took an LFO and I made that eight bars and I sunk that, meaning sink, I sunk that to the cutoff filter. So now. Not only is the um, cutoff kind of pinging like this with this little envelope right here, but it's also moving up and down, arching over eight bars. And that's it. It's just a default sawtooth, nothing more than that. Okay. Very standard pluck, but serum does sound good. And stepping is awesome. So with stepping, not only are we getting random direction. We could also do this in eights, eight notes. So with stepping, uh, what I did was, is I put it in natural minor, and then I put it in what I call ratio mode, which is like, how many of these notes do we really want, right? We want maybe an A sharp, two A's, and two E's, okay? And then three D's. Now, it's going to random, as you can see, I've hit this green dice over here, so it randomly changes position every single time. Same here, so every once in a while it's gonna hit that one octave up, which is nice. And then velocity's doing the same thing. I randomized the velocity, but then did another random direction. Okay? Combine all that, and here we are. All right. This is good. I'm happy with this one. I like to like to start I like to just kind of put things in and see what sticks now one thing I really want to do that's really got my senses like my radars firing off is that I hear this out of this random amplitude part of this I can hear this is really exciting me like I want to explore that idea more I'm doing random amplitudes right but how do we do this in like serum or something like how do we make like a really crazy FM patch in serum Let's go ahead and do something like a basic wave table here, all right? And we're gonna fire off, um, say, one of these spectral waveforms, Reesey Mess, into here to get some really crazy wave shapes. Let's try doing that, all right? All right let's go ahead, and this is soloed, all right? And let's go ahead and kind of lower our, our decay to like three seconds. Okay, increase the unison amount, right? Lower the detune, okay? All right, way to a position, and we'll find it. There, that, okay? Now, that's got a lot of harmonic content in it, right? We can take an oscilloscope and say, all right, let's go find that oscilloscope, where is it? It's under effects, it's here we go. Let's look at that. And this is the Melda oscilloscope. I don't know why that thing pulls up every time. Let's go. You see that? So we're getting some good, like, that's that's some good sonic goodness there. <laughs> good sonic goodness. I know that's cliche, but check it out. All right, we can put a compressor on it. Let's go ahead and we'll put a compressor. Multiband. 
That's great. Okay. There we go. Nice. Now listen to what that sounds like with tons of Valhalla Room delay. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. All right. No filter on that yet. There. Right? Because to me, we can modulate this. So we're going to modulate this with Chaos 1. As you can see, it's not moving. Or the rate. Yes. And you can experiment here. Like, you can experiment with different uh, wave tables as your receiver wave, if you will. This, is the, this would be the, the modulating wave, right? Oh, that sounds even better. It's almost like a messy sign. What would this? Look at that. Oh, that's really messy with that. I didn't know that was so fast. Yes. That's gorgeous. All right. You can play with the filtering here. Ooh. Oh my goodness. All right, so let's let's add another instance of stepping here. And or we could add the Euclidean sequencer. That might be cool. I'm thinking either one or even bouncing notes. Oh my god. <laughs> my heart is on fire. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, let's make this eight notes again. We'll do the same trick, but we're going to do it much slower, right? So we're going to go here. Let's go higher. So we're going to go D3, natural minor, and we'll go ahead and put in some notes. And that will be enough. That'll be enough. And then we're going to randomize the direction. Uh, give this one octave up, randomize it. Um, put the velocity in random. There we go, randomize it. But we're gonna slow it down. We're gonna make it like a uh, whole note. How about that, okay? And uh, will that do it? All right. Let's go ahead and uh, increase the octave here. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Yes. Wow. Mmm. Wow. So you can see, like, it's almost like it would hit at the right time. Custom. Two over one. Yeah, yeah, two bars. See what I did there? So it was no link. You can actually go to custom and you can make whatever you want. You can make that happen every four bars if you wanted. That might be great. Because then it gives it space to sort of like say, all right, well, we want that to return, but when do we want it to return, right? Negative space, negative space. That's super important. With the random amplitudes coming in, like that's a call and response. The call and response is this stepping instance to the random amplitudes one. <sighs> love it, love it. It's good stuff. All right, let's ground ourselves. Let's ground ourselves with some serum. I mean, it's no surprise why I use serum, right? It's it's just a good sounding synthesizer, straight up. Like, no debate. Like, it's just great. 
Okay, um, let's go here and we'll just grab the analog BD sign. Perfect. Lower the level down. This will be our sub oscillator. And we'll go ahead and hit play here. Okay, another sub. See what that did? That was a very solid foundational presence all of a sudden, right? Mm. This bass could evolve over time, right? To change notes, change our grounding. Yes. I love that PPG wave, that's so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's my bread and butter, what can I say? I mean, this is like... Deep space ambient, to me, just lights me up. Like, I just... As soon as, as, soon as it hits, you're like, yes. And it's the combination of a lot of things, right? It's... Proper delay, okay. Proper reverb, okay. As you all, as you all know, it's just straight up a combination of two Valhalla plugins here: room and delay. That's it. Shout out to Sean for making my career much easier. <laughs> no, I'm just no, Sean is great. He's super nice, and he makes good plugins. He writes good algorithms. What else is there to say? I mean, the guy's a genius. That's it. So, these things combined, right? The tasteful use of how you put these elements together, that matters. Mm. And this slow moving bass that I'm just sort of like playing as I'm talking. Yes. So the key here is, again, what we what we went over today, we started out, oh, we, we lost, hold on, we lost that initial sequence. Let's go back. Oh my God, let's put this back. Yes, all right. Oh, that. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. Oh man. Oh my god. What can I say? I surprise myself sometimes, right? But like I said, simple sound, sound design techniques are what creates good forms of this music, right? It doesn't need to be complicated, it doesn't need to be drawn out, it doesn't need to be you saw most of the time I was using simple waveforms, right? But with Serum's FM, you can do this in Vital too, but like, like FM to me, when FM, when good FM meets reverb, you're gonna get some really rich harmonic content that you can't get from normal waveforms. It's unexpected, it's like that. It just comes out of nowhere and it hits you and you're like, oh. Where would I go from here? We can do a part two. I definitely put this sequence somewhere in here. And I would put this bass sort of like, starting out very simply, excuse me, really, really simply. And then it would sort of evolve over time into what I'm playing now. Oh. Yes! <laughs> that is so good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Listen. This to me is why I do what I do. I do it for these reasons. If you learned something today, I'm glad. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more, of course, check out my Patreon. 
You get videos like this every single week, all month long, delivered right to your inbox. What more can I say? <laughs> and uh, yeah. As always, keep your heads in the clouds and your feet planted firmly on the ground. My name is Chris from Science of Life. Stay tuned for part two. Take good care, you guys. I'll see you in the next one.